Hi everybody. Hi Lunarly family. I am Kyle Miller. I am coming to you live from my apartment in Santa Monica and I'm going to lead you through a 30 minute um, energy moving practice um, and then we will end with a nice little meditation where we can start to really hone in on our highest vision for our lives. That big picture, mountain top, elevated vision. But we're gonna start down on the ground. So bring your hands on your knees and you're just gonna start to stir it up. So you can use your hands to help inform the movement, but this is all about the lower body. Stirring the pelvic bowl, tipping it forward and back. and you can hear that conscious breathing start to come online. That's exactly what you wanna do here. Use these first few moments of class where you're just kind of switching gears, landing on your mat, and you know, really marking that it's the time and space for your personal well-being practice. You can close the eyes if that's helpful, and then you wanna start to feed your ears the sound of the breath. Consciously draw the inhale in and consciously push the exhale out. Switch directions. When my teacher is teaching this, she tells us to turn our imagination into a big wooden spoon and put it down in the bowl of the pelvis and start to integrate and stir and bring blood flow and energy, prana, chi, however you want to think of it, um, down into this ground of being. Just a tiny bit more here. And then you're going to interlace your fingers, flip your palms forward, reach your arms up, and now give that same treatment to the upper half of your container. The sides of the waist, the back of the rib cage, um, the front of the chest, this whole framework that houses the lungs and the heart, you want to open up here. So same thing, close your eyes if that feels comfortable and move really spherically and organically. There's no right, there's no wrong. We're warming up the soft connective tissue that insulates all of the bones and muscles in the upper half of your container. I love reaching my hands forward, dropping my head, and then really finding the back of my heart. Reach both arms up now. Look up, take a little back bend, and then let your right fingertips come down for a nice side bend over to the right. I like pulsing here, so you're welcome to do that, but you don't have to, whatever you want. In and out. And then switch sides. One more breath and out. Reach straight up now, lengthen the sides, and then you're just gonna take a little simple twist over to the right. So really prop up, use your arms as scaffolding that supports this vertical lift of the spine. And then on the exhale, move the rib cage around the axis a little bit more. One more breath in and out. And then come to the center, reach back up, and then take it the other way. Whoa! So prop up on the fingertips, inhale for the lift, exhale to revolve, one more in and out. Come back to the center, and then you're going to meet in kneeling seat. So if kneeling isn't comfortable, stay cross-legged. But if kneeling works for you, we're gonna do this um, breathing technique to really rev the energy and, and start to move things, okay? So inhale, lift, exhale through the mouth. Keep going, keep going. If, if kneeling doesn't work for you and you're cross-legged, you can still be doing this technique. You'll just be working the upper body and it's still just as activating and heat building. Last 10, 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. So pause, close your eyes, put one hand on your heart, one hand on your abdomen, and just give yourself a moment to observe the effects and to appreciate how, you know, so quickly you can create warmth and move energy within your body. Nice. Now start to take a little side bend here and use a little bit of momentum so your hand can kind of push you. And then as you start to get a little more momentum, stick one leg out and then bring it back. Really, really nice. Stick with it. Keep going. And then land back in the center and we're going to come forward onto the hands and knees. So, so you want to stack up shoulders right underneath your wrists and then we're just going to start to simply cat cow through the spine. So inhale, arch the back, pull yourself through and then exhale, round the spine, hollow and empty. Inhale to arch. Exhale to round, in, out, in, out. One more round. Inhale, arch the back, pull yourself forward, and then exhale, round the spine, and we're gonna stay here. So lift up onto your fingertips, tuck your chin, tuck your tail, hollow out. So I'm lifting the center of my hands and I'm seeing the thread behind my navel and coiling it in and up and back and lifting the back of the body. One more second here, pull it up and then release that. And now we're just gonna stir it up on the hands and knees. So this is like a, my favorite technique, a signature technique, something that I do all the time. It really lets you break out of the box and be free. Again, there's no right and there's no wrong. The whole idea here is to fast track that natural process of your fascia warming and also to visit and articulate as many joints as you can. When we move a joint, we stimulate the capsules with the synovial fluid to release the lubrication. So as you move around and express and articulate each joint, you're hydrating it, you're lubricating it, you're cleaning out any debris. So I'm letting my awareness move around. I'm in my head and my neck. I always stretch out my jaw here because I hold a lot of tension there. So you can make a weird face. Luckily, no one can see you. Um, then be in your wrists for a moment and make circles around each wrist and then be in the pelvis. So just close your eyes if that's okay and let your awareness be inside your body and just move around. Really great. Mm. Perfect. Come back to the center. Inhale, reach your right arm up and out to the right. A big twist open, and then exhale, set the hand down. Inhale, reach the left arm up, and then exhale, release. So a little side to side action. I like doing this on my fingertips for more levity and more height, so you're welcome to try that out. Some people hate the fingertips, so feel free to mediate and modify throughout our practice so that it works for you. It works in your body, with your practice, and also with your intention. We don't come into practice every day looking for the same experience. So it's nice to hone in on exactly what you want from this use of your time and effort. So this is 30 minutes, and we know we're gonna set our sights high in a meditation at the end. For me, I want you guys to just move energy. I wanna open up joint space. I wanna create pliability and flow within. 
cleaning out the blockages so then we can all set a, a nice intention for ourselves in this new year. Let that go. Let your right foot come back. You're just gonna pulse back through the heel a little bit. And while we're here, pull your waist in and you know, just think about what you're doing. Spin the heel down, reach your right arm up. Open everything up. Two breaths. If you wanna pick your right foot up, you can do that or keep it down. Reach the right arm overhead, in, out, one more, and then set the hand down, set the knee down, take the left leg back, pulse back through this heel a little bit, pulling the waist in, I, I can feel heat, it's happening. Spin the back heel down, and then open up, pick up the foot if you want, reach the arm forward, three breaths, in, out, in, out, one more, in, and out, perfect, set that down, set your knees down, come to Vajrasana, which is the kneeling seat, if kneeling doesn't work, just switch to cross-legged, and now that we've kind of opened up the body, there's warmth, there's movement, close your eyes, bring your hands together, and bow your head. Set the intention to clear away blockages, to stimulate energetic flow, and to open you up to your highest vision, the big picture, zoomed out vision of who you wanna be. One more time, we're gonna do that revving breathing technique. I'm gonna do it with you this time, the whole time, and you know what to do if you're cross-legged. Inhale. on the chest, one hand on the heart, ground yourself through the ground, in and out. Perfect. Okay, come forward onto the hands and knees again. This time we're just going to take the right leg straight back, lift it up to hip height, and then reach the left arm forward. Pull the low belly in, spread the collarbones, three breaths, in out, in, out, one more, reach, and then set it down. Switch sides, left leg back, right arm forward, three breaths, in, out, in, out, last breath, reach, and then release. So I'm gonna come and face you guys because I think it's best to show you head on. You can stay on your mat however you're oriented. Stick your right leg straight out to the right and then you're gonna start to move forward and back. Once you're kind of in the joint space, start to bend the knee, make circles with the pelvis and we're really gain access into the joints of the lower body here. So put your imagination there as well and start to clean out the ankle, the pelvis, the knee. <sighs> Keep the leg out to the side. Reach your right arm up, a nice big open twist for two breaths in, out. One more in and out. Set the hand down, bring the knee back. Now you're gonna stick the left leg out to the side. Start by just going forward and back so you're getting into joint space. And then you can start to bend the knee and really move around in here. So hopefully this feels good and this is a technique you can use anytime, all the time. It's such great access into the lower body. Keep the breath moving. 
and then reach your left arm up. Two breaths here, in, out, one more, and out. Set the hand down, set the knee down. You're gonna tuck your toes, I'm just coming back on my mat the right way. Tuck your toes and then lift your knees up a few inches. So you're in a little hovering tabletop. Your shoulders stay above your wrists. Start to wrap the muscle onto the bone here. In, out, one more, and then lift the hips to dog. That sometimes puts you in a short dog. Everybody come forward to plank. That's the measure for how long your dog should be. So everything stacks up here and then lift the hips up and back. You can start to wag your tail a little bit, pedal the feet out. So bend one knee and drive the other heel down, reach your sit bones up, stretch your chest and shoulders. And again, keep the neck soft, the face soft, the jaw relaxed. Inhale, come forward to plank and then exhale, press back to dog. A few times moving nice and thoughtfully here. Stay forward and plank now. Get my hair out of my face and you're gonna lift the right foot up an inch. So the rest of the body has to work harder. Set it down, lift the left foot up an inch. Set it down, push back to dog, and then you're gonna walk your hands back to your feet. Take your feet hips width distance apart and hang down over the legs. So this is all about decompressing your spine. The tendency when we're forward folding is to have the weight back in the heels with your butt leaning back. So try taking the weight forward in your feet Grab opposite elbows and just move here. Sway, drape, drip, hang and release. Deep breaths into the hamstrings and definitely bend the knees. Bend the knees more than you want to. Nice, a few more seconds here. You could interlace your fingers behind the nape of the neck or Interlace your fingers behind the back. And then release the hands and walk back forward into dog. I'm gonna come to dog, inhale, get the right leg up and back. Exhale, step it forward between the hands. So inhale, pull your chest forward. Exhale, pull the hips back, drop your head. A few times, work with your own breath. Go at your own pace. Inhale, you come forward. Exhale, you extend the hip, the leg, and fold. Two more. Last one, keep the knee bent. Press your left hand down, reach your right arm up. I like to use my right hand, push it into my right thigh. That helps me revolve. I go back through the back heel, forward through the crown. One more breath. And then set the hand down, straighten the front leg, pop the back foot in. So really ground the feet well here, pull your chest forward, and then exhale, fold, 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 fold. I like to walk the hands back. Plug your feet into the earth. That's your stability. And then let your torso release in. Out. One more. And out. Bend the front knee. Meet us back in dog. So you just get back to dog. Wag your tail. Shake it out. Exactly. Left leg up and back and then step it forward. So our simple vinyasa to really articulate the joints, the mechanics of the lower body. You inhale and come forward and that includes your vision. Exhale, fold. Two more. Out. Last one. Now we take our little twist. So right hand pushes down, left hand into the left knee, and then reach the arm up. 
two breaths in, out, one more, hand comes down, straighten that leg, back foot comes in, much shorter stance, pull the chest forward, and then fold, fold, fold towards the left leg, drop your head. The legs need to be super strong so that the upper body can relax and release into the fold. Last breath. And out. Good. Bend the knee. Get back to dog. So now we're going to do a modified up dog to down dog. You guys are in dog. I'm just pausing to say hi and look at you and, you know, I don't know, have fun. So. Um, this is something I learned from my teacher Naveen and it is such an amazing technique. We take chaturanga out of the equation. You're going to inhale, come forward through a plank, all the way into a modified up dog. The toes stay tucked, the arms stay straight, and then you push back. Take that a few times. Inhaling forward, exhaling back. Last one. Stay back in dog and again, walk your hands back to the feet for this decompression. Everybody interlace the hands behind the back if that works for you. Reach the fist overhead. Have a nice bend in the knees. Contact with your rib cage and your thighs for support. So a little vinyasa here. You're going to inhale, pull the fist back, look forward. Exhale, extend the legs. Inhale to bend, exhale, extend, in, out, last one, and out, release the hands down, walk back forward into dog, come forward to plank, and we're going to take a side plank, Vashisthasana, so, you know, traditionally you'll stack the feet, one on top of the other and reach up. If you need more surface area on the earth, stagger the feet or set the right knee down, no problem. Take the variation that makes sense for you and then breathe here. Open the collarbones, pull the waist back, inhale and exhale. Set the left hand down, switch sides. So set up the version that makes sense for you. I'm gonna show you with the knee down. Reach up, inhale, exhale, one more, and then everybody onto the forearm, right forearm outside of the right foot, stack everything up here, can reach the left arm overhead, breathe in, out, one more, and then switch. Onto the left side, in, out, one more breath, both forearms down. So I fell, it's not a big deal. Interlace the fingers, you're in forearm plank, just pulse yourself forward and back in space a little bit. So this is going to build heat and pull in the center of the body. One more breath and then release all the way down. You come into Sphinx Pose. So set your elbows up so they're just a little bit in front of your shoulders. And then everybody push down to come out of your shell. And then like you could claw the floor towards you and pull your chest forward in space. In and out. Awesome. Release down. You're gonna um, walk the tops of the feet back just to get extra length. And then take the fingertips wide onto your jute rug or whatever you're practicing on. Inhale, lift the chest up. Exhale, release down. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. So get a nice undulation happening here. Very serpentine. You might not be coming up this high where whatever you're doing is perfect. Last one, inhale, lift up. 
and then exhale, release down. Extend both let arms straight forward and both legs straight back. Your chin can be down, lift just the right leg. And then add the left arm, keep your vision down. Few breaths here, in, out, in, out. Last one, pull long and then release. Switch sides. So start with just the left leg. I'm heating up. And then add the right arm. In, out, in, out. Last one, reach. And then release down. Press back up to the hands and knees. Stack shoulder on wrist. Right leg comes back, left arm forward, and then reach back for that ankle and kick the foot into the hand. Turn your vision back forward and really tensilate the bow here. Three breaths in, out, in, out. Last one. Reach forward and back and then release. Switch sides, reach it grab it. It's okay if you fall. That's totally normal. Kick the foot into the hand for three breaths. In, out, in, out. One more. Reach it long. Pull the waist in and then release down. Set your knees down. Close your eyes for a moment. I'm just turning to face you guys. You can stay facing forward on your mat, and just give yourself a moment. In and out. We're gonna do a quick round of Kapalabhati. So if kneeling works for you, stay kneeling. If cross-legged is better, switch over to cross-legged. You're gonna reach your arms up. This is like um, a V is for victory through the upper body. Close the eyes. You're gonna inhale. Exhale fully, deeply, and completely. Inhale to a comfortable level. And then begin. Kapalabhati is a forceful, sharp, rhythmic exhalation through the nose caused by snapping the abdomen back. So you don't have to think about the inhale. That will happen as a rebound. Focus only on the exhale. This is, keep going, keep going. This is to flush out staleness, lethargy, bad mood, blocks, any, um, anything that could cause stagnation. Tiny bit more, I'm gonna cross the finish line with you. Inhale, reach up. Hook your thumbs overhead. So we're gonna do an inhale retention now. Plug down, lift up. Close your eyes. Put your awareness right into your third eye. From here, you are going to self-soothe when the mind starts to react to the pressure of holding the breath. Take three more little sips in. Exhale, pop the cork. Let the breath go out the crown of the head. Smile as the pressure is released. Let the gift waves rain down your circumference and right into your hands. In, out, in, and out. We're gonna do one more breathing technique, okay? So bring your hands onto your shoulders, stick your elbows out to the sides, like a nice level tool for the top of your frame. You're gonna inhale left and exhale right. In, out, in, out, in, out. Let your whole spine unlock and move. Let the organ body be stimulated. Stick with it, tiny bit more. And 
then let everything go. Inhale, reach up. Hook your thumbs overhead. Squeeze your biceps in. Lift. Drop your head. Be still. Be present. Be in your third eye. Self-soothe. Take three more little sips through the nose. And then exhale, pop the cork. Let the breath go, let the pressure release. Turn your palms to face up. Give yourself a moment with the hands on the lap. In, out, in, and out. So awesome. So we're going to start to um, settle towards our meditation practice now. Um, but first we're gonna do one more breathing technique. It's super calming and it's such an amazing tool to have in your arsenal. It's called Nadi Shodhana, alternate nostril breathing. You're gonna bring the index finger and the middle finger into the palm and you're gonna use the thumb and the ring finger as your controls. The thumb goes on the right nostril and the ring finger goes on your left nostril. So that's how we're gonna be controlling this alternate nostril breath. With your left hand, you can have the palm facing down, more grounding, the palm facing up, more receptive, or any um, mudra or hand placement that's meaningful for you. I'm gonna do chin mudra. So my chest is lifted, I'm upright. I'm gonna inhale through both nostrils and then exhale through both nostrils. Block the right, inhale through the left. Two, three, four. Block the left and exhale through the right. Two, three, four. Inhale right. Exhale left. Inhale, left, two, three, four. Exhale, right, two, three, four. Inhale, right. Exhale, left. Keep going with this pattern for a few more rounds and try to slow down the breath. So I started you guys on a four count. See if you can lengthen the breath out now to a five count or even a six count. Keep it nice and even. This is a technique for balancing our right and left energy channels, feminine and masculine, lunar and solar, active and restful, extroverted and introverted. All of these polarities within ourselves that we're always navigating, this is one technique um, for mediating them, for balancing them out. Really, really great. And then you'll end by exhaling through the left nostril and let everything go, let your hands come down. Give yourself a moment and now you really wanna set up your seat for meditation. So I highly recommend um, sitting up on a block if you have one or a blanket or cushion from the couch. I'm gonna quickly grab my meditation seat. I use a block. And then you're just gonna settle. And you're gonna travel up to your third eye and you're gonna visualize two French doors and you're gonna open the doors and step out onto a roof deck. Elevated perch for you to look out from. You wanna to start to hone in on the person you wanna be, how you wanna make other people feel 
qualities you want to embody. So just give your mind a moment to kind of swirl around this, these topics. A quality that you want to embody. How you want to make other people feel. Big picture, what's your purpose? And just be open and receptive. Allow ideas to come in. Nothing's being written in stone. You're just spending a little bit of time, a little bit of energy of, you know, thought, chewing on this a little bit. And then bring your hands together. Bow your head. We'll close our practice together. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you to Lunar Lee for having me. Um, again, I'm Kyle Miller, and I'm so happy we got to practice together. It might be a really nice idea to grab a piece of paper and jot down some of the thoughts that you were having. Um, may we all have the best year ever. Thank you guys. Bye.